Hola, mi nombre es Miguel y tengo una rosa para cada una de mis damas hoy en nuestra colaboración en El Rincón del Amor. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part of the Love Corner collaboration. It is Valentine's Day decor. This playlist also comes with a gift away. I will tell you more about that in just a little bit, but if you are definitely interested, you definitely want to keep watching. So I picked up some wood rounds from, well, I didn't pick them up. <laughs> I had them sent to my home. Um, I got these off of Amazon. They were 14 inches in a diameter. A little YouTube magic. This was the color pink by Craftsmart. Funny thing about this is that I got these rounds um, for my mom's friend who asked me if I would make her a door hanger, a leopard print door hanger. So initially I was done with all of my DIYs, but then after I made that door hanger and I saw how cute it was, um, after I made it, I was like, oh my gosh, I can switch up colors, switch up some wording and let it say happy Valentine's Day and put it on my front door. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. What do you call that? Valentine's Day? And because I don't, I've already messed this up. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. I'm just going to go in with some regular chalk paint and a paintbrush. I seen Melissa from um, All Things Crafty. She was live one night and she used, um, she applied her chalk paint with a uh, paintbrush. Um, on one of her stencils that she was using and I thought that was very interesting um, the way she put it on and it turned out great for her this particular one I actually um, ordered it off of Amazon um, I thought it was going to be a hard surface stencil and turns out it was not I was very surprised when I saw this one because it did resemble the chalk couture I decided to use the brush technique that I saw so I wasn't too attached to this one and if it were to mess up then I was okay with it. Okay so now that this is dry I am going to go in and I'm going to put a white stripe here. It is not going to be your traditional stripe. I cannot find my painter's tape. So I'm gonna use this paint stick. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it just above here. Let me look, see how that's gonna look. Yep, just above the black is where I'm gonna put it. And then I'm gonna lay that baby down and get a new paint brush and I'm gonna paint it out there. So get painter's tape it'll be a lot easier to get my white the white chalk paint is um dried up so i'm gonna go in with plaster i mean what's gonna happen right y'all i'm just winging it i am just winging it okay here's plaster all right i know for a fact it's gonna at least go here here's my little ghetto tape Do as I say, not as I do. Get you some tape. Take the time to find your tape. Ta -da -da -da. Did it work? A little bleed through, but not too much. Thank you. 
just gonna touch up this side right here. I'll be back. It's gonna look so great. I think I'm gonna do the letters in black. Yeah, so I went over to my silhouette and this is um, autumn, November, butter, what? I don't know. I forget. I go between Buttercup Sample and Magnolia Sky. And I think this is Buttercup Sample. I will link it in the description box below. For ghetto crafting, I cannot find anything today. <laughs> this is um, or the Oracle um, 651 vinyl. And of course, black. And I don't, look at that. Look at my apostrophe. I don't know why it turned that way but I did not do that. All right, so now let's see. I'm just gonna eyeball it because y'all know I'm good for that. I don't measure anything and I should. Is that about from, is that about from? Let's see, go over a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna just stick it right there and pull out this little measuring tape. Let's see. That's one, please be one. <laughs> Perfect. All right, here is the true test. If this comes off easily, let's see. Praise the Lord. So it appears that I am pulling this fast and I am not. This is in fast motion. Please take your time when removing your transfer from your vinyl. Look at how cute this is. I don't know why the Valentine's look like it's so much higher. <laughs> I, I don't know. Now guys, I am a any shade of blue type of girl. But this pink and this black, it just really did something to me. And I absolutely love it. Okay, here's where I am at. I went to the store, of course, and there wasn't any ribbon, believe it or not, worthy of going on this precious gem. This project has tried to take me left so many times and I refuse. So... Came back home, I had this little burlap, I have this color and this color that I picked up from the Dollar Tree a while ago, like it was back in um, fall time. So I just cut off a piece of that and um, frayed one of the ends by just taking this out like that. And so now, let me do this on this side. So now what I'm up against, or I wouldn't say what I'm up against, now I just have to use what I have in my craft room to go with this pink. Now, when I made this, was I thinking about, oh, whoa, you probably won't have the ribbon for this. Absolutely not. Because I assumed that I could just run to the store, get what I needed to finish the project. And I cannot. So I was able to find some tool, this black tool and this hot pink. I don't know that I'm gonna do this hot pink color may or may not I'm gonna play around with it and I, I still have some raffia because this stuff is like um a can of worms you open it and it just keeps coming I feel that this would go because the leopard or cheetah print not sure what print this is um would go with this I don't know I'm gonna see what I can do to make this work um I really wanted a pretty black and white, a big black solid ribbon would have been pretty on there. But in the interest of time and not being able to find what I needed, I just gotta do what I gotta do and make this work. So wish me luck. I'm also gonna go in with the coat of gloss Mod Podge to just make this shine a little bit better. So when I come back, it is going to be glossy. Three, two, one. We are back and we are a glossy 
I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, there it is. Look at that shine. This is going to protect all of this paint. All right, so let's get started. Bring out the old trusty glue gun. Like I said, using what I have on hand, not too upset about it at this point. I just feel like I gotta move on with the project and I can't keep delaying. Got this wrap yet. If you guys have ever used this, you know it just, I don't know, it just does this, it grows. So guys, thank you so much if you are stopping by the playlist and if you are interested in the gift away that's um, attached to this playlist, then here are the following rules. You need to watch the entire playlist and you need to comment in each creator's video their secret word. So each creator will give a secret word in their video and you will have to drop that in their comment section. My secret word is going to be cheetah and then you must live in the United States. These gifts are going to be a $50 Amazon gift card and some Valentine's Day goodies. All right, I wish you guys nothing but the best. So I'm not really sure where I picked up these little square um, wooden pieces. True red and with the help of a little YouTube magic. Ta-da! Next I'm going to go in with the XOXO. Check yes or no. One, two, three. Do you guys remember a couple videos back when I said I sing during my crafting? That was a little <laughs> moment. I'm gonna go in with my favorite bright white. It's my favorite. Drop a heart emoji in the comments below if you are still with me. Boom, look at it guys, look at it. Oh, isn't she a beauty? Basically what I'm doing here is just framing this out. I'm doing an inset shadow box. I don't even know if that's a real term or not, but that's what I'm going to say. But I'm going to do an inset shadow box where the frame is on the outside and the image is on the inside. So I went to my baby um, saw and cut these down and then I stained them or no, I painted them with some chalk paint in the color of black and then i went around this piece and um, put the border on now what i will recommend is don't use too much glue on this particular piece right here i put a little too much and then you know how it sandwiched or pancakes out that's what happened with this one so don't apply too much glue if you choose to do this project and i did do the width or the outer parts first and um no, I did one outer part first, and then I put the top, and then I did the le the other side, and then the bottom. Um, because I want to make sure... No, I, I guess I didn't. <laughs> but the, you, you see what I'm doing. This is how it turned out. <laughs> like a little shadow box that hangs. But, and I think I got this from Michael's. Not really sure. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the inside of it. I do actually want to use the back side. Y'all, this project right here almost did not make it to this video. This one right here gave me so many problems. Keep watching. Plaster chalk paint. I'm going to do like a whitewash on this. And then I'm going to go in with the February the 14th. It seemed simple enough in my mind, I thought. I'd just put the transfer on, I would do some chalk over it, pull it off, boom, the color would be there. But it did not turn out that way because initially I used the Couture Coral, and it, although it was a pretty color, but it was not what I was looking for. Okay, so this is dry now, and I think what I'm gonna do to camouflage this side, I probably will put some jute right there somehow something like that to camouflage those holes from my lazy crafting 
of not wanting to uh, fix them. So I think we're gonna turn it this way. Going back in with the Chalk Couture February 14th transfer. Fuzzing two to three times. So as this is going on, I'm thinking this is not going to go with my pink and my reds. I have to redo this. And surprise, I tried to fix it by doing a little rustic DIY, a little distressing, sending it down. And that was hideous too. Don't like this. It's horrible. So what I'm going to do is go in with this piece. I did a light um, coat of plaster over it to knock down the natural wood color. Applied the February 14th stencil one more time. And this is how that piece turned out. I added some jute around the uh, top piece there and a shoestring bow. And I applied a coat of black chalk paint to match with the corresponding XOXO. Don't forget to go and check out the playlist. If you are interested in entering into the gift away, make sure that you watch the entire playlist and comment on each creator's video with their secret word. And don't forget, you must live in the United States. And remember, if you're not living life with lawn, then you're missing out. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.